Paul and, and Jolly Wright don't play by the rules. They live in Carrollton, Georgia, and, and spend their time doing... Well, they're too young to be doing what they're doing. Everybody knows that toy makers are kind little elderly people. They make toys. Why aren't they old? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Andy. We just, we're just young. I don't know. We got out of school and decided we wanted to do something a little bit different than, than work all of our lives and then be the old toy maker, as you say. And so we kind of started out young as toy makers, and then we're going to work when we get old. So. Well, did you major in college in toy making? <laughs> no, I've got my degree in accounting, and uh, Jolly's got her degree in marketing and management. And uh, toy making is, they don't teach toy making where I went to school. <laughs> when something has to be done, they do it their way. They couldn't afford a belt sander at $109. So with an old washing machine motor and a couple of odds and ends, they built one for five bucks. Jolly cuts, Paul sands. It's all part of their very untypical day. Well, we sleep late. We get up about 10 or so and we might watch TV for a few hours. And then after lunch, we'll go out to the shop and start to work. And we'll put in four, five, six hours of hard work and maybe come in and work inside for a few more hours. Who can say what hours a toy maker is supposed to work? Their toys are made from oak and poplar. Not indestructible, but they should last long enough to become family heirlooms. They're a combination of wood, glue, pegs, and love. When you see each other 50 years from now, <laughs> being little old toy makers. <laughs> Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, when you come out of the shop, my hair looks gray anyway from all the sawdust. So I feel like I'm about 50 when I get out of there. From if you look in the mirror and everything. So I don't know. It, it would be fun to think that 50 years from now I'd still be making toys because it'd be it'd be 25 more years of just a lot of fun, having a good time. All they need to make them come alive is the magic spark of imagination. Every child has it, and inside every adult, there's one flickering. All it takes is a squint and a smile. See what I mean? This is Andy Johnston.